Hey, welcome back. This morning, 1 Samuel 25, verse 27 to 31. Let's read it. And now this present which your maidservant has brought to my Lord, let it be given to the young men who follow my Lord. Please forgive the trespass of your maidservant, for the Lord will certainly make for my Lord an enduring house, because my Lord fights the battles of the Lord, and evil is not found in you throughout your days. Yet a man has risen to pursue you and seek your life, but the life of my Lord shall be bound in the bundle of the living with the Lord your God. And the lives of your enemies he shall sling out as from the pocket of a sling. And it shall come to pass when the Lord has done for my Lord according to all the good that he has spoken concerning you and has appointed you ruler over Israel, that this will be no grief to you nor offense of heart to my Lord, either that you have shed blood without cause or that my Lord has avenged himself. But when the Lord has dealt well with my Lord, then remember your maidservant. So that's the conclusion of Abigail's uh, appeal to David. And again, let's think of it as we work our way through it here. She appeals for the, the present. I've given you a present. I'm seeking peace. Here's a clear, uh, concrete evidence of it. And 200 loaves of the bread and, and, and all the other bits there. Wow. Uh, what have we got in 28? Please forgive the trespass of your maidservant. It wasn't her. It was Nabal. But he says, please forgive the trespass of me. I'm taking it upon myself. I'm asking you to forgive me. Beautiful appeal. She sees David as the battler for the Lord, you know, God's champion. She refers to the sling of the sling when David uh, slew Goliath with the stone. Everybody knows about that story. She's, she weaves that into her appeal. Uh, this is a smart woman. She's very uh, thoughtful. Um, evil's not found in you. Evil is not found in you throughout your days. Well, not yet. We'll come to that at some point. You're being pursued unjustly. We know all about that. Hey, we are with you. We're on your side. Then we have this business about you have not shed blood without cause. Uh, and she's making the appeal that if you were to shed blood now at this point, it would be unjustified. There is no cause for doing it. Look, I brought the food you were after, right? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm humbling myself before you. I'm, I'm taking an able sin upon myself. Really, really can't, can't quite really do that. But anyway, good for her because she's, she's trying. This is a precious, a precious appeal. How could David hear this and not be giantly moved? Uh, so anyway, there you have it. And then the appeal at the end. When this is, when this is all, when you're the king, please remember your maidservant. Uh, don't forget this that I've done. And she she has gone all the way here. This is this is beautiful and precious. So that's the end of Abigail's appeal. And tomorrow morning we'll hear what David's response is. But again, uh, what a beautiful, precious, uh, precious thoughts, precious pieces here addressed, full of respect. Whatever respect David didn't get when he sent his messengers, she's giving him a, a double dose right here. Uh, she seems totally sincere in, in, in working for peace and what more could she do than this? I mean, this is like everything she can do. So good for her. I think we're, I, I kind of think we're looking at a peacemaker. We are quick sometimes to war. And David did have sort of some cause going on there, right? But she, he doesn't need to fulfill it. And many times we might have some degree of cause. Maybe we have a lot of cause, but we still don't need to go to war. Uh, many times there's an opportunity for peace. And we, again, are called upon to seek those opportunities for peace, to really seek them and not just to give them lip service. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for Abigail's example, a beautiful example. We want to be like that ourselves. We want to be your servants and people who will go out of our way to seek for peace. So now, Lord, help us to draw in from Abigail's precious example pieces for us so that we can live like Jesus would have us live. This is our prayer to you today in Jesus' name. Amen. God is very good. And right about now, all the servants of the household, all the stuff, the gifts they're bringing in, and David's guys with the swords, everybody's going to get an opportunity for peace here if David responds with the same kind of grace. And tomorrow morning, we'll see what that is. Hey, God be with you and bless you today.